Hey everyone, it's Shannon. After my last video came out, a friend mentioned to me that the only word he had known in Arabic before my video was Habibi. I said, well, what do you know about Habibi? And he talked about, okay, well, it's like sweetheart or sweetie. Yes, and uh, we talked about how Habibi is what you say to a man. Habibti is what you say to a girl, because in Arabic you conjugate for male and female. I also told him how sometimes we use Habibi um, with maybe a stranger, somebody we're not even close to. It's a way to kind of talk to somebody when you're frustrated, but make it nicer, is you had Habibi at the beginning. I remember one time I was with a friend and we were driving to Amman from Dubai. We were near to the border, but we didn't know exactly where we were. And he was asking for directions. I don't remember what he said, because back then I didn't speak any Arabic. But the guy, the Omani guy, was like, Habibi, la, ruhinak. They don't know each other. They were strangers, okay? So he's using Habibi with somebody who's a stranger. Habib, in general, like Al Habib means like the sweetheart. Or Al Habiba is the sweetheart. If you're talking about a female. And you can say it not just with your lover, but also somebody who's just like very close to you or maybe like a friend. To a female friend, I would say, Shukran Habibti. In Arabic, there's so many words you can use to, to address somebody that is very close to you, like a lover. Whereas I feel like in English, it's like, okay, there's baby, bae, sweetie, honey. Whereas in Arabic, I can think of like 10 easily. I made this video to teach you words and phrases that we use in Arabic to address somebody in kind of a nice, endearing way. Not just for lovers, but it could be for like a family member or a relative or, or just a good friend. So apart from Habibi or Habibti, we say Hobbi. Hobbi means my love, okay? al hob means love, it's the noun, okay? And so to a guy or a girl, you would say Hobbi. Yeah, Hobbi, keifak. My love, how are you? Hobbi, my love. And this one, I would use more for like somebody, like a lover, okay? Like I wouldn't say to my friend like, Hobby kefik. Maybe if it was like maybe like to my kid, I could say if I had, if I had a kid, I would be like okay hobby. I feel like it's more like a romantic kind of love. Hobby, my love. Another one that we say is hayati. Hayati means my life. Al hayat means the life. Hayati. And again, this one, whether it's a male or a female, I would say hayati. Hayati is more for somebody that I would say I'm in a romantic relationship with, or somebody also like really close, maybe like. A sibling? I don't even know if I use it with a sibling. Maybe parents use it with their kids, but I would say it's better for like a romantic relationship. Say, Hayati, my life, Hayati. Okay, another one we use is Amri. Al Amr means age, but we also use it to mean life, okay? So, Ya Amri is like my life. Tol Al Amr means somebody's whole life. Tol Al Amr. What we hear sometimes is Ya Bad Amri. So, Bad means after. And what we're trying to express there is like, I hope that you die after me so that I don't have to live without you. But literally, it sounds like Badomri after my age, after my life. Like you're so important to me and you make me so happy and you're so special to me that I hope that I die before you. This next one's a little weird. Um, they say Yabad Shabdi. Yabad Shabdi. Shabdi comes from Kebdi. El Kebid means, I know this is gonna be weird, El Kebid means the liver. Shebd is kind of like a more slang way of saying the liver. And so Shebdi is my liver. So Yabad yeah, Shebdi means after my liver. But I think what they're trying to convey with that is, you know, because the liver is a very important organ. <laughs> and so um, Yabad yeah, Shebdi is basically kind of like Yabad yeah, Omri. Like you're so important to me. Like I can't live without you. And Bad Shebdi Enti means like you are my life, kind of in a metaphorical way, not a literal way at all, ever. I also read a tweet by somebody, and this was from a few years ago. They said, من الفصيح المحرف قول بعد أهل الخليج لمن يحبونه يا بعد كبدي وبعد عمري وبعد روحي وبعد قلبي ولال أصلها. So he's saying maybe the origin of يا بعد كبدي is يا بعد كبدي يا بعد عمري. بعد with a dal means bad, yeah, bad means some or some of. In the bad al ashia, I have some of the things. Whereas bad with a dal means after. So what he was saying is maybe it comes from bad, which means like some of my life. Yeah, bad omri, some of my life. Bad omri madri kam, kam and omri, but bad omri, I don't know. Somebody wrote, wa ya badi, ya bad hai, kulha. Allah ta'ati bimana in tukunu bad badi u bad kul ghali alay fil mot bad amr tawil. So somebody was saying like basically everything that's precious to me, you know, I hope to have it for my whole life. I hope that I can be with you my whole life. 
Right, so, so don't die before me. Okay, another one that's a little bit weird. First time I heard it, I was like, huh? It's Iabad Tawayafi. Tawayafi, okay? In, I guess, slang or Khaliji, they say Tawayafi to mean like my family, my ancestors, my tribe, okay? So, and that's something that's super important. I mean, I'm from Al Atebi. Well, that's my nickname, Hassa Al Atebi. Atebi is a very big tribe in Saudi, and tribes are very important. Tawayafi is something, it means like it's like my ancestors, my whole lineage. To say Yabad Tawayafi is a way of saying that you are so, so important to me. The other one that I hear is Gelbi. So Gelbi, you can say to a man or a woman, Gelbi means my heart. And this one, again, I would say it to somebody I'm more in a romantic relationship with, but I've heard people say it like usually, you know, their pet or like another person is very dear to them. Yeah, Gelbi. Maybe an endearing way to a friend, but yeah, Gelbi is my heart. Another thing that they say, and this is something more I hear from my Saudi friends, is Ya Labba. Ya Labba Gelbik. Labba comes from like a religious prayer, a talbiya, which is more of a religious prayer. I didn't really learn this when I was studying Arabic, but another thing people say is Ya Labba Gelbik. Ya Labba Gelbik. It's basically like saying um, Ya Zainik, or like how beautiful, how nice you are, Ya Labba. And again, this one I would say maybe somebody only that I'm like romantically involved with. Actually, I wouldn't say it. Personally, it's like not my thing. Just like Ya Bad Shabdi. I don't want to talk about my liver with somebody who, I don't know. So, yeah, Ya Zainik bus. It's like, you're so gorgeous. Okay, another one is Ya Rohi. Rohi. This one you say to a guy or a girl, Rohi. So Rohi means my soul, my spirit. Ya Rohi anti. Another one that I've heard is Eshk from El Eshk. They say Eshki. And to a guy or a girl you say this. El Eshk means like love or adoration. If you ever read um, The 40 Rules of Love in Arabic, they, they translate it as Qa'id El Eshk, El Adba'un. El Eshk means basically love. So Eshki is like my love. Hobbi, almost same thing. And this one I would say also to somebody that like I'm in, like romantically involved with. I wouldn't say it to like a sister. My sister wouldn't say Ashki. To my sister, I would say like Habibti, Ochti. Ochti means my sister, literally. Or to a female friend who's very close, I would say Ochti, Enti Ochti, like you're my sister. Another one is Halwati. So Halu, as you might know, means sweet. Mara Halu, it's very sweet. We're very cute, okay? Halu. Ya Halwati, like you are my sweet. As a noun, <laughs> sweetie, yeah, halwati, ayuni. This one I would say again to somebody that, like for a lover, you could say ayuni. Ayuni, ayuni means my eyes, al ayun, ayuni, my eyes. So again, it's this idea of something that's very, very precious to you, like your eyes. Taj rasi, taj rasi, so taj means a crown. And so to, like to say enta taj rasi means like you are the crown on my head. Ya taj rasi, enta taj rasi, like, you're important to me. Another one is yal ghali or ghaliati. So ghali, the adjective means expensive, literally expensive or just like very precious, very important. Somebody said to me yal labba, I would say yal labba gelbik, I would say um, shukran yal ghali. Ghaliati for a girl. Or you could say yeah, yal ghali maybe to a guy and ghaliati to a girl. Another one that um, is very important is ya gamar, gamar. Gamar means the moon. And for those of you who have lived in the Middle East, you know, when there's a full moon, it's like one of the most gorgeous things you'll ever see. And pictures can't do it justice because it's so beautiful. I remember trying to take pictures of the moon when I was in Dubai sometimes, and people would message me say, La la entir gamar. No, no, you are the moon. The way that they, they adore the beauty of the moon is like, not like the way they do in the US. Like in the US, they say, oh wow, there's a full moon and the moon looks really pretty. But there, like they use the word gamar for somebody who's very beautiful. So, shukran ya gamar. And gamar you could use with maybe like a child or like a spouse or a lover or something. You could say ya gamar. The last one I'm gonna talk about today is fidetik. Fidetik or fidetuk, I guess, to a guy. The literal meaning of fidetuk is like, I would sacrifice myself for you. Like, I would die for you, fidetuk. I know it sounds like a little extreme to say fidetuk, like I would die for you, but I think the equivalent in English is something more like, you know, I'm yours. The last time I saw it, or that I saw it written to me, <laughs> was on Thanksgiving. I got this Snapchat message, and I translated it, but I did a very rough translation. The message says, fidet al jamal hada. Like, this beauty, fidet, like I would die for you, basically. Fidet al jamal hada, wallah. Wallah is like, I'm serious, I swear to God. Wallah, enti tahagagi halwa marra. Tahagagin is like, I want to say, because well, tahagate is like I got turned on. 
to Chagagin is like you, you're so enchanting, okay? Halwa Marra, Muzza, you're very sweet. Muzza is, basically it's a chick, Muzza. Lao Bad Idnik, Idn Mwafaka, Bzawaj. Lao Bad Idnik is like, with your permission, I want to get married. Anna Mwafak means I agree. Idha Tabra, I mean, he means Idha Tabra, if you want to meet, Natakabal, or Nishuv Bad. If you want, we'll meet and see each other. Idha Ajabtik. If that would please you. Natazawaj will marry. La ta'alami ahad. Don't uh, tell anybody. Al al kalam da fadetik. Don't tell anybody about this. Fadetik. I'm yours. It made me laugh, so I took a screenshot of it. But yeah, fadetik. Twice in one proposal means like I would die for you. I'm yours. Okay, that's it. Hopefully you found this video useful. Please, please like and subscribe. And feel free to practice down below in the comments. If you need an Arabic keyboard overlay, I'll put the link down below to the one that I use. They're cheap and they actually protect the keyboard, so it's like a win-win. Shukran lakum, habkum. If you don't know what habkum, you should because it was in my last video. I'll put the link down below. Thanks, guys. Till next time.